Uneasy Money is a novel by P.G. Wodehouse, first published in 1916. It tells the tale of Lord Bill Dawlish, a well-liked but financially challenged member of the British aristocracy, known for his skill in golf and his generally good nature. Lord Dawlish, or Bill, has been playing golf to secure a modest living while maintaining his title. He is engaged to Claire Fenwick, an ambitious and somewhat mercenary young woman who is eager for Bill to increase his wealth, pressuring him to approach a wealthy American called Ira Nutcombe, a distant relation, for an inheritance. However, Bill's sense of honor steers him away from such actions. Unexpectedly, Nutcombe passes away and leaves his fortune to Bill, but there's a catch. Nutcombe's niece, Elizabeth Boyd, who has been counting on the inheritance to keep her and her brother's bee farm in Connecticut running, is left without a penny. This turn of events weighs on Bill's conscience, and driven by a sense of fairness, he decides to journey to America and offer half of the inheritance to Elizabeth. Bill's fiancée Claire is furious when she learns of his plan, and they part ways. In the United States, Bill seeks out Elizabeth, finding her living modestly and working hard on her farm with her brother James. Initially, Elizabeth knows only that Bill was once a potential heir, and unaware of the fact that he has actually inherited the money, she nurses a grudge against him. Bill keeps the truth of his identity and the inheritance a secret, simply introducing himself as a man looking for work. As Bill involves himself in the farm's activities, he grows fond of the simple, hard-working lifestyle and starts to fall in love with Elizabeth, who also warms to him, unaware that he is the English lord who stands between her and her uncle's fortune. Meanwhile, Claire has followed Bill to the U.S., keen to mend their relationship and secure the inheritance for herself. She is accompanied by her admirer, Dudley Pickering, a wealthy car manufacturer with a fear of romantic entanglement. In an attempt to win Claire's affection, Dudley tries to adapt to the leisure activities Claire enjoys, but with little success or genuine interest. Back at the Boyd farm, Bill's affection for Elizabeth grows, while she remains oblivious to his true identity. A series of comedic misunderstandings ensue as different parties try to navigate the crossed lines of love and money. Bill's amiable nature leads him to help others on the farm and in the nearby village, allowing him to see the value in living a life devoted to others rather than to wealth. Nutcombe's valet, who followed Bill to the U.S., eventually discloses Bill's identity to Elizabeth, and she then overhears Bill discussing with the valet his intentions to give her half the inheritance. Upset that Bill lied to her, she refuses to accept the money. Bill is heartbroken, fearing he has ruined any chance of a relationship with Elizabeth. As the story nears its conclusion, Claire decides to marry Dudley after witnessing his genuine affection, even though his proposal is far from eloquent. This clears the path for Bill and Elizabeth, but Bill must first overcome her anger and distrust. In an effort to make amends, Bill returns to England to settle his affairs and formally renounce half of the inheritance. Elizabeth, realizing Bill's sincere intention and the noble character behind his actions, decides to forgive him. She follows Bill back to England, and they reunite. Elizabeth admits her love for Bill, and she agrees to marry him, accepting him not for his wealth, but for his honorable nature and affection for her. The final resolution sees all the characters achieving a sort of contentment. Bill and Elizabeth find happiness with each other, ready to start a new life that balances work, love, and a simpler existence, while Claire and Dudley, having revealed true emotions behind their social facades, embark on their engagement, each finding a partner who suits their ultimate desires. P.G. Wodehouse's Uneasy Money thus weaves a narrative examining the conflicts between wealth, morality, and happiness presenting a comedic yet touching exploration of love and human values in the early 20th century.